Hello, hello, everybody. First one's a question, second one's a statement. Hello, hello, hi, Brad Shoemaker. Hi, hi, hello. Hi, Third, hi. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. a question, what's the question? Hello? Like, can hello? You, hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Alex Navarro, hello. Like the Poe song, hello, hello? <laughs> sure, yeah. All okay. right. You mean the Pillars of Eternity song? Yeah, Poe, yeah. P-O-E. Got it. Uh, we are here. We are grabbing bags and, and taking names. And uh, uh, we are here to play some video games. Didn't really mean to rhyme that. Just kind of how it came out as top the of the Reggie head. got started. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I've been training under Reggie. He's uh, he's mentoring me now in his retirements. Is he, did, he mm. float, did he go somewhere else? Is I'm calling a, this a semi-retirement. Did he go? Is he on a board somewhere? I'm sure. I he think is. he's on definitely, like seven different boards. He's definitely on some boards. Okay. Okay. Probably uh, a boat. Yeah. Frequently. Probably. Uh, we to. we are going to play some games. We're going to start with Deck Nine's Telltale <laughs> release of the Expanse. Telltale. Um. You know, it. When I looked it up recently, because I said if I, I just need to look this up, it said fifty percent of Telltale is now previous Telltale people. It went through a lot of changes. I don't really know how I feel about Telltale. I feel like it's a roller coaster of a ride. I'm not sure if we're supposed to like Telltale or not like Telltale. I don't, I don't think the current Telltale has actually done anything wrong. I mean, the the thing where they laid off a huge chunk of their staff and then almost you know yeah. went out of business that yeah. was bad. That was bad. Yeah. That part was bad. Yeah. Yeah, but that uh, wasn't this management, right? That was the management of old Telltale. I think that's I old Telltale. I think some of that management <laughs> might be in new to Telltale, and I'm also not sure about that. There's Maybe. also another studio that is ex Telltale people that made that Star Trek game that came out earlier this year. So I look, there's a lot of Telltale everywhere right now. It's all over the damn floor. But we are here to play the Expanse, which is a new Telltale part of Skydance now. Skybound. El there's Skybound. Also LCG. LCG is, is some, like some whole. Okay. Let's play The Expanse while we do our deep dive into tell, telling of tales. Uh, I've played some of this. I'm going to start over from the beginning. Um, this is, it's quite, uh, it's episodic. Look, some things about Telltale never change. You had a chance there to do a Dead Studios Tell No Tales thing, and I'm, okay. you know, all right, okay, look, look. I'm not that look. quick. Look. All right. Ain't that good. Mm. Um, uh, I'm going to start from the beginning here, uh, just so you can kind of see what this is about brad you had some questions like oh can we what what parts of the engine what's what's been updated we probably, i feel like we left off with telltale in a kind of a state yes um, so yeah, did, uh, did new did new telltale inherit old telltale's tech or did they uh, rebuild everything from scratch i don't know i think this game is pretty good so far from what i played uh i have i've only read leviathan wakes and seen some of the expanse i know it is a very popular series so i'm not going to be the most fluent in what is happening here in the world of the expanse though i know about belters and kind of the corpo i need the audio corpo stuff okay let me get you the audio here all Same. i know is that supplies are low morale is low wait Fonts are missing think, part sorry. of the war of the letter <laughs> i take that back i do not need the audio i have it okay Listen to me. this guy has a look yeah Listen to me. That is a thick man. Mm -hmm. There's a stylized a portion going on here. You space in a guy? Space will remember this. No, 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 no. Wonder what that guy did. Oh, I believe you will find out over the course of a couple of episodes here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I need to watch The Expanse at some point. People Let's talk celebrate. it up so high. They love it. Yeah, I watched the first season. I didn't, didn't stick for me in the first season. Mm. Our last. Mm, interesting. Oh, man. Space whiskey set. I've heard that before. Um, this uh, is the one. There's a lot of it, right? The end of the day, it's like all six seasons. seasons or something. Yeah. Rich, but I think the last season is pretty short, but the other ones are like, you know, 10 or 13 episodes. I initially didn't like this main character, and then she really grew on me it's as you kind of play through. I remember the name wreck. Drummer, so I assume <laughs> she is a main character on the show in the larger Dropped fiction as well. Less than a week ago, no distress call. 
Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes' bounty on your head. But... The past is the past. The past is the past. The past is the past. Why didn't you Is the past. That? The bounty. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who I think the facial stuff is pretty good in their in their new tech. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah, this looks, this looks good. You don't own me. I'm gonna try and go Damn for right. some different answers here. Don't make the same mistake he did. I work for you, but you don't own me. <laughs> Believe me, I'm well aware. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. So if, if maybe chat can fill me in because that, there definitely are some there. voice actors and actresses nobody I recognize from the show. Nobody I don't know if Drummer is the same voice actress from the show, but I assume that this if is this pulling from the show fiction... I don't know you if it's pulling... I don't know the difference between the book fiction and the show fiction. I, not my true. memory's not that good. Uh, I'm drink the scotch now. Drink the scotch. Always drink yeah. scotch. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, at least with Drummer here, this say. is Kara Gee, who is the, the actress on the show. Okay. Apparently, Erica Mori also does additional... Hang on. What does it say? Additional Kamina drummer performance capture. Performance capture. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, Shore uh, yes. and Dashlu is also in this. That's a definitely re mission. hard to not recognize. I should start yeah. By briefing Khan. And so, Stephen Frost. Okay. So here's your kind of third person walking around bits. You know, it controls mm -hmm. fine. I don't know, Khan, if this is a character. Khan, new orders from the captain. I know. He already <laughs> sent me the coordinates. Captain thinks that this could be... Last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my Are you time. doing ASMR right now? <laughs> That's... <laughs> Did I interrupt something? Oh dear. I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. Yeah, I think the face, facial modeling and animations are yeah. pretty good. Like, definitely better than their older stuff. Ooh. Call me that again. Now, Kia. We're nearly there. The debris field is massive. It'll take me a minute Kinda to. Kind of into Grandma Pilot here. <laughs> It was <laughs> grandma with a nose ring. Somebody blew that ship. To what I remember from Leviathan that. Wakes is I really love the universe they I set up in the Expanse, uh, and and kind of how the Belters are and the relationship between everybody. Um, I have to I'll have to watch the um, the show again because I don't remember. She's been chewing on that same cigar for weeks. I don't remember the show as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure Leviathan Wakes and probably the Expanse is. Where I thought it was super cool that. As the XO, it's my job to make sure the ship and its crew are in order. I keep a log Sorry, on the ship on. and on our scavenge missions. Um, there was like this whole communication through hand signals because of the way Belters had to communicate with um, spacesuits on. Mm -hmm. I thought that was like, oh, that's a really cool piece of science fiction. I kind of almost like a sign language for emotion that would go mm -hmm. along with with what you're communicating. People can correct me if that is way off, but I, that's what I remember from the book. Also, how people grow up in low gravity and they have fragile bones, or supposedly fragile crew. bones. Arlen said he put all this away. What was it, three days ago? Lazy Gemini. That's an interesting detail to retain for your space fiction. Ship's diagnostics. <laughs> yeah. the, always the, the bone density thing? The yeah, isn't much like there, there are so many actual and inconvenient that. realities of living in space that almost all science fiction is just, just like fucking nah. I, w I want to say belters are taller 
and uh, supposedly have lower bone density, though I think in this game, somebody tries to say that and they're like, that's a myth, try it. Like, uh, I'll break your fragile bones or something. I, I But mm -hmm. again, people who are way into this could definitely fill those details in. Oh. Of course, Cox needs to get his beauty rest before he gets back to work, doing absolutely nothing. Damn. <laughs> Uh, you can click in to kind of figure out where you're supposed to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little main line here. So correct me if I'm wrong. The expanse takes place primarily in our solar system, doesn't it? Pretty sure, because there are um, spoilers. I, but I think this is pretty beginning of the at least Leviathan wakes. They're gonna, they're, the threat is always to launch meteors or asteroids to Earth. Right. Like. Virgil. Virgil. Leave Virgil alone. Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in auto doctor during like, my residency. Oh. Useful for work outside the medical system. Actually, never mind. <laughs> it's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded. I gotta declude that that crystal, man. That sounds serious. Can we replace it? We can, and should. Normally, I wouldn't recommend it. I could always open people up the old-fashioned way. But the <laughs> like good facial stuff, better crew. facial mm -hmm. stuff in this. A high-quality gem would ensure that I'm ready for their next disaster. There's maybe like a just slightly over shiny quality to a lot of these, but I think the actual facial capture is really good. We have yeah. a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? <laughs> really feels like you're an watching pre-order bonus Cat statues act viable. out your, your video game. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure, yeah. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? Like there's a little bit from the, um, there's a little bit like these characters were molded from clay with good yeah, lighting, kind of. That you send back, and I don't mind it. Anyone up? Should it come to that? I'll take stylized over like not quite hitting realistic any day. You totally. Know? Yeah, that's kind of always been the Telltale vibe. Yeah. What version is this? Version. What do you mean? What platform? Oh, sorry. This is a PC. This time? You not get enough oh, you know what? This is the PC, and this was an interesting setting. Um, I have this on the setting called cinematic for the graphics oh, quality. That's interesting in a PC game. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that means. It seemed to be the, the thing options? after high and between low. So huh. I was hoping it was the highest. I don't. Oh, is that just is that just their term for ultra? I don't know. It might be. I wish I wish they gave you a little more uh, in there. It's what I put on, but yes, that reminded me uh, of what. Need some aqua caca, huh? Ow! Oh, just let me go. It just fell, okay? Well, I tell you, Tinsha, you stupid prick, quit fucking up. So belters, and as far as I remember, belters and, and people from Earth and um, other colonies or whatever. They have very different cultures. Mm -hmm. Carry on. I'm enjoying the show. See, Pashanwala, even Exo agrees. Okay, okay. For the good brother. <laughs> <laughs> we got a job, Baradnas. Listen up. Nah, fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real Sorry, that what? <laughs> he said, <laughs> oh, you he heard him. I'm not, re I'm not repeating it. To work again. He said, he said, this the next job. And he the boss man. <sighs> Just like series. Bossing everyone around. Only this time, no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? I feel like this guy respects violence. <laughs> Look, Arlen's going to remember correct. that. This that was correct. Series. On the ship, I'm the EXO. <laughs> oh. 
I was only fucking with you, Copain. I did not punch. Come on, Baratna. Last time, and it also seemed to be not the right choice. Maybe there are no right choices. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Only gray choices. Hmm. Uh, so seem like that kind of show. So far, I assume. None of the biomass. No good choices. A lot of moral ambiguity. ETA five minutes, drummer. We'll do, boss name. Headed back to my room to suit up now. A lot of fans of this show in, in both chats. I it's say. a super popular show, and it's one I, I meant to go back and watch. Um, because or finish reading the, the books. When I finished Leviathan Wakes, I read part of the second one and it started off kind of weird. And so I kind of put the series down. Sorry, I was looking for where I have to go. Does the show just track? I mean, this is a poor question for chat, I guess. Like, does the show just track the books start to finish or does the show like shoot off in its own direction at some point? Yeah, that's a good question for uh, chat. When I watched it, it seemed like they were Where pulling stuff across the books and not Kalina. doing it chronologically. Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> that's like the whole show does pretty much follow. Hey, they don't, it doesn't cover all the books, but it pretty much is all book. Okay. Tenoda, but you are not a traitor. You love your belt. And right now, belt is me. Dawes sounds very familiar. I don't know if that's a super main character from the books of the movie or the show. I'll tell you, the book got pretty freaking weird. <laughs> got that. Yeah, I saw, saw some, some people in chat have made references to some space magic I'm busy. of some sort. You're late. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Fucking make me. <laughs> Typical engineer. Smart hands. But caca for brains. That's right. <laughs> I already beat Arlen's ass today. Guess Virgil can handle one more patient. So here you got right. some of the telltale quick time event style stuff. This is a real fighting ship. <laughs> yeah, look, they're scavengers, man. It, I, it's rough out there. I should put you in the brig for this. I couldn't tell if this was fighting or flirting. First. It can be both. It could be both. Oh, wait, is Jared Harris in the show? He's in the I, show. I don't know if he's in this game oh, or not. No, no, I'm sure he's not in the game, but if, well, that's okay. I cool. think he's that's in another, the show. That's another, another vote in favor of the show. <laughs> Cheap shot. Come on. Let me hear it. You got me. Wait, sorry, I've lost track. Have we yes. seen Dawes in this game already? Finally. There was VO from Dawes in like a flash. Okay, but not, she she but not. was, or Dawes was, I guess. <laughs> I don't know this that well, but drummers used to, drummer used to work for Dawes and Dawes put out a contract on her, I guess. For a minute. Her bounty. I thought you had me again. That was a good move. <laughs> a little weak. But if we were playing for keeps, I would have headbutted you at the end there. Wait. And if we were playing for keeps, I would have just floating. Yeah. Uh, the gravity's off. That's, so why, that's, that's, that's why, why she was floating. Yeah, yeah, that's why she oh, was. I, oh. yeah. They got My magnet boots on right now, I think. Yours. Right, right. I didn't okay. believe a single thing they taught me at that fascist... Wait, is everything else in here also bolted down? What about that keyboard? Oh, here with you, brittle bitches. Let's assume. <laughs> brittle bitches. This char I haven't played through this whole episode, but this character relationship makes me feel like that other character is about to die. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I don't love the casual way they are just walking yeah. around in space here. <laughs> oh, then you're going to hate some of this. Seems like you should maybe <laughs> treat being outside of the ship with a little more gravity. I also love that um, this and the intended the like uh, you know offshoot hey, Telltale Star Trek game both start with like a that. spacewalk. She's a beautiful volcanic goddess. <laughs> they know. They know what people are here for. I usually only Ugh, it's what just giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> But it's nice You're going to hate this part then, Brad. You might want to look away. 
even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from her oxygen bulb. I believe she's you from Earth. Who pile drive your ass it's, into a ceiling. Okay, an inner, yeah. So right. I think Inya is like an inner, like inner planets. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> you know. I started to... Just remember to... I started to make the... Their boots are made out of LK-99 joke, but Art of the Shell beat me to it. Hmm. Uh, I think they just said anyway. like LK-99. Y'all like drifting? Space yeah. drifting? Here you go. Don't crash. Drop kick that guy. As I was saying, remember to keep your weight back when you land. Still, not bad for an inner who's barely been in the belt for a month, eh? Reminds me when Rayana and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hole and shit his back suit. <laughs> <laughs> shut, shut it! We don't push people when you're spacewalking. Airlock is open, Exo. Uh, good. Let's see what we have in here. I bet there's something good in there. Something bad. It's all bad. Well, yeah. good. I mean, bad. Good for us, the yes. audience. <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> Some folks talking about the slang being kind of corny in the show and stuff. And like, look, if I can make it through, what, three seasons of Frack this from um oh yeah <laughs> from what's its face uh I can uh, what the heck was the name of that show with well, the it's, uh, it Cylons. feels like uh, uh, Battlestar, Battlestar, but like, Battlestar yeah it feels more just like fake future swearing and more like oh, a developed patois that has sort of you know <laughs> infected this particular space culture so I don't know I'll give it that it feels it, more like natural language evolution in the book I really liked it but it's different when you're reading it than actors having to deliver it. Oh boy! Oh, mm. well. I mean, Yo, whoa, a lot of heads. She's crazy. Y'all fucking open up the event horizon. <laughs> what are we doing here? What's <laughs> the head? What are you doing? Just breathe. Keep your head down. Maybe it's different okay. choice of words there. <laughs> now say puke in your soup, eh? That you won't choke to death on your own sick. I really didn't take the Battlestar. I tried. I liked it. I, I I really enjoyed it. Some good actors, some good performances, just like the show plot never really did it for me. Blech. What do you think, developer heads? Hello, hello, <laughs> hello! Yeah. Whoever put out this welcome gift for us is long gone. And they left behind a big ass ship that must have some valuables still on it. So get scavenging. You all have your orders. Hurry up and do your job so we can get back home. We'll keep going a little bit here, but I think you guys get the vibe of this. I think it's pretty yeah. good. It's like it's interesting, and I think the the beats they're doing are are good. It's like, it has me interested to see where this goes. Yeah, this seems well made. Uh, I'll just say, uh, we got a few more mechanics here. I can't, I can't remember if anybody said, but this is totally an original story, right? I, I, I don't know. Like not, I think not it is. From, not, take, not taken from a book or anything. Ship. This thing was practically brand new. Sounds like it is original. Whoops. I've got an intact QPU here. Nice find. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, but it's AMD. Throw it back. Fuel, oxygen, scrap metal, wiring. If we can use it or sell it, it goes in here. So there's some optional stuff in here that um, my first playthrough I, I couldn't find. This place apart, but pirates, 
aren't scavengers. Here we go. We very dead space. There must have been one hell of a battle here. Hmm. Doesn't look like a typical pirate attack to me. I agree. Maybe they were looking for something big and couldn't find it. Left the heads to try and scare off anyone else. So in case you missed it, this is like a big, um, you know, Makes UNN sense. ship. Especially that, if mm -hmm. they thought other people might come looking. Probably should have been uh, able to fend off some pirates. And UNN is sort of like the big governing body of human civilization at this point, or? I think so. I think in the show, that's who Sheree is the like president of? Okay. I, th I think, I think. Okay, time to scavenge. Looks like the officer's section is still intact. Go check it out. Here you go, Brad. On it. Here's your phone. This oh is for boy. you. Oh, you oh boy. The brass <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. Go oh, get yourself a little tour of Jupiter. <laughs> or is that Mars? I think it's a lot of faith in that suit. Inyas have to work hard to keep their bodies in shape out here. It's like Mars. It would be much easier for everyone if they just. I think they said uh, one of the moons of. Jupiter. This looks like. Oh wait, a no, that is Jupiter. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's absolutely Jupiter. I think there is honestly. I mean, I know it is impossible, and I will never do it, and none of us in our lifetime will ever do it. But there's no planet I want to see the inside of more than Jupiter. <laughs> what's in there? Yeah, I, I want to see what's down fish. there. I think I think about that a lot. I think I think the presumption is that there is a solid core. Shit, drama. So I guess the same goes for all the gas giants. Yeah, you're like a. Human scanner drone. You must let your senses guide you. Sight, sound, even smell. Until you and the ship have become one. I think the other one I'm really curious about is Venus, since we know that was at one time an Earth-like planet, and there we've gotten only that very tantalizing little bit of uh, video footage from that Russian probe that, ex that like, melted in about 30 seconds. Melted or was zapped? Mm -hmm. Wait, was it? Was it not always a greenhouse nightmare? At some point in history, it was supposed to have been more Earth-like, but then the greenhouse effect went haywire in one way or for one reason or another. All right, I'm going to go a little further here. Damn, planetary science is so cool. Oh my gosh, yep. it's so like... Humbling, right? To like be like, hmm. you know, the chances of life and Earth, and, you know. Good pull, drummer. It'll happen. UNN is... officers always keep a backup water recycler for themselves. Selfish UNN that country pens us, always looking out for themselves. Every army in history has been the same way. A lucky few call the shots and reap the rewards. The rest are cannon fodder. This guy kind of sounds like Dr. Jacoby from Twin Peaks. Mm -hmm. Laura Palmer had a lot of problems. Okay. Barricaded in the officer's quarters have been killed or captured. The pirates do not wish to kill anyone else. Um, open the gate now and allow them to complete their search. No more lives. Speaking of extremely wild space shit, I was reminded recently that they have narrowed the. The window that they are predicting for Beetlejuice to go supernova is like very narrow and relatively soon now. When you say relatively, like space relatively or? I mean, yes, yes, like astronomically okay. soon. Sometime in the next 10, this, let's see, BBC currently says sometime in the next 10 to 100,000 years. Okay. Oh, so I like, won't be around for it. Probably not going to see it, but it's possible. Now, possible. how bad is that going to fuck this planet right when that happens, oh, not, if at all? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. Well, here's how it will fuck the planet. <laughs> Having that thing visible in the daytime sky for like a year 
All right. Might be Just imagine the fucking misinformation, <laughs> conspiracy theories and okay, shit that are going to go around. So I have a question for you, Brad. Oh, that's how. That's how. When you say, like, say 10,000 years, right? <laughs> Just use the low end. How far, how many light years is it away? Does that mean it's happened uh, it's pretty, already? Pretty far. It's pretty far. So is it more than 10,000 away? Is it possible it's already gone supernova and the light wouldn't be hitting us until? Uh, also, any, anything's possible. Anything's possible. Um, <coughs> let me see how far it is. <coughs> Excuse me. About, about 650 light years away. Oh. So it's probably so, happened already. It, it could have. And again, that would be on the soon side. It sounds like they're predicting it's probably not going to be for a while, but you never know. How long know. has our sun got? Like um, five, five years? About five. I think it's about five left before it totally goes ass over tea kettle. But Earth only has a bit. This is fun fact that people don't know. Earth only has about a billion years left before... The sun gets so hot that it boils all the water away and life is no longer sustainable on this planet. Look, that's optimistic, man. I'm talking like 40 years here for humans. Well, no, 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 no. Life, humans, yeah, life yeah. will continue. It's right. us that are fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're uh, right, you're right. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. So, I mean, we... You're look, Bane, and currently have no evidence that life... Be fine. That, it's one of two life, sons we have no evidence ships. that life is sustainable without water. Ah, fuck. Should have known. Who is that? I don't know, those, those tardigrades seem Latest like they're doing all right. Flavor of the month. Let a mining strike on Europa. Stole a few ships. Now self-employed as a full-time murdering psychopath. UNN has been giving her a wide berth. If she wanted to take out this ship, it means she had a good reason. Or she's just a murdering psychopath. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> We're good. We're good here. Maya, I'm in so. the mess hall. Stop talking Time to it. find an officer. I've linked the personnel records to your terminal. Try scanning the bodies and see if you get a match. All right. I'm going to go a little further here into yeah, that. Yeah, just scan a couple of corpses for me. Well, I know which one is the right one. Oh. Reach out and touch faith. He lent me a hand. Sorry about this. No problem. <laughs> I would scream, but I don't have a head. I do uh, like that they're all in their like best mime poses. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Take my head, I dare you. I'm Fuck sorry, you. is that guy in the four horsemen? What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what are you right? What is going on there? That is definitely something. Mm. That dude's throwing up the gang signs. <laughs> I don't know if we can show this on the stream. We're all going to get what, killed. What's set, what set you tripping, man? <laughs> Is that a developer having fun? I don't know. Or, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if Toussaint was here herself. Or if she stayed back on the ship like some other captains I know. All right. Uh, we're going to go inside the quarters. Oh, yeah, this is the part I wanted to go. All right. The fuck Man, part? What's happening? Uh, an accident. My leg. Uh, it's the... Falota, you're the accident. Keep holding. I'll be right there. All right, we'll get to Stop our it. choice. Whatever mess he's got himself into, make sure the containment vault is secure. We cannot afford to lose it. Captain, Rayan's back suit is... Not now! Drummer, get your ass over there. Going. On my way. Damn idiot. What the hell did he do? My leg. Some hello, drummer. Hold still. We'll see what we can do. What happened? Unexploded charge, I think. Pirates must have left it behind. Pashang, you didn't scan first. Oh, is this is the thing I saw that screenshot of? Yeah. I bet. You need to the so you know what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, uh, shit, maybe you should go the other that way. Has O2. Fuel, <laughs> maybe we need to... We can't afford to lose it. Maybe we need to put this game to the test. Maybe we need to see what this game is truly capable of. I did this on my playthrough. We're, we're, we're saving the vault. There we go. Hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Ryan will yeah, remember this. I think so. I bet he will. <laughs> bet he will. I'm sorry, Van. We're going to have to remove the. Oh, they're at least doing it surgically. We need these supplies to survive. I wish there was another choice. There was, actually. What are you doing? Lowering the oxygen intake. Ah, we could probably get you like it's a no cool robot feet. leg. Help. I'm not dumb. I can't. Yeah, surgically. Okay, actually, this is a slow boy. <laughs> She's got her sawzall. Don't worry. Be strong, Papaloda. Oh, the sound. You heard her, Baratna. Be strong. <laughs> I don't think he's that strong. Oh, his suit's got a puncture. Okay. Ooh. Well, I guess space would kind of just, uh... Quarterize. Use that right <laughs> yeah. up for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't worry. We'll get that taken care of, too. <laughs> Yeah. I, I do love some good floating space blood. I think doesn't doesn't your blood boil isn't the thing that actually happens because of the pressure differential? Oh, the pressure. Yeah. Your patch should hold until he's back on board. You did good, drummer. Eating cold and vacuum are weird because there's no there's no air to radiate heat away through. Or transfer heat through. Physics. Yeah. So you actually retain the heat, but the pressure is so much lower than your blood. Yeah. All the other liquids too, I think. He's fine. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> He's Have a little nap. <laughs> He's fine. So I um and see you chose to save the leg last time. I chose player, to right? save the leg and people were not I'm not going to say everybody was happy. People were upset because they said if we don't have the supplies we're all going to die. So um all right, I think we're going to call that there. Alex, if you want to spool up for the next bit of business yeah, here. Yeah, give me a moment here. Um I'll walk around. I did not find in my playthrough the um laser crystal. So I'm not sure where that is. I've made a lot of tough calls. Prioritizing supplies over Rayan's leg was one of the toughest. It was also right. We'll find out. I, or I guess I won't in my playthrough. Yeah, so just a heads up. When I played this, I got to the end of this chapter without finding a new laser crystal. So, And I explored a lot. So you can trigger the end of the chapter without... Um, without hitting that. I thought I would just, it would stumble across my main path at some point towards the end, but it did not. But this is neat. Up, uh, yeah, this, this seems pretty good. Did you end up playing more of the Star Trek game? I did not. I got a little further than where we, we showed off uh, last time we played it, but I haven't, got, I haven't finished it. Got some, uh, go to Jupiter? Sure, I can go to Jupiter. We'll end this on a trip to Jupiter. We'll see if it turns me around. Hmm. I'm going to say invisible wall. Invisible wall? That's my guess. I'm hoping it's a radio communication that says, where the hell are you going? Get back here. Yeah, and and kind of sure. turns me around. Okay. I'm going to try. I'm going to go backwards so we can get a, a better frame of reference if we're moving. Okay. All right. Uh, I think I might have hit an invisible wall. It kind of feels like you have. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind Listen. of it's kind of sliding me off to the side here. This ain't Starfield, all right. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. All right. Okay. All right. The I've updated the Twitch, and I'm ready to go. Okay. Uh, that is the Expanse, a Telltale series. This is episode one. Uh, let me go back to the main menu so you can kind of see this. Um, 
They have a release cadence that's posted at least on the Epic Store page. I don't have it up in front of me. I don't know if it tells you here, but you can access the other episodes when you buy it, uh, but you buy the full season from the, at least on the Epic Store. All right, Alex Navarro, are you yeah. ready? Are you yeah. ready? We're just gonna do a little taste of this one a little bit, because this is a pretty short game, but I, uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, this is Venba, which just came out this week. Yeah, I was curious to see this. You talked about this on the podcast. Yes. So this is a uh, a, a small narrative adventure game that is about an immigrant family, uh, an Indian immigrant family in Canada. It revolves very heavily around food as sort of a, uh, you know, kind of a, a central aspect of the story. And I'm just going to give you a little taste here in the first chapter, chapter and a half. You flip over the Parsec, Finny, when you go second. Yes. That's me. Hi, hi, Brad. Oh, hello. I went too many. There we go. Am I tired or am I nauseous? I'm nauseous. All right. Not both. Yeah, why not both? Usually both. Listen, as someone who skipped a lot of lunches when mm -hmm. I was working in an office, not a great thing. There you go. This fucking guy. This guy. I don't want to hear about this. No. Oh, wrong answer, Alec. You let him what? go drink his coffee. You gotta get up and make him lunch. Okay. Time to go to work. <laughs> non great title card. I look, I look like, what am I doing? Should we? Let's rock. <laughs> So here's what we have here. Here's our, our mother's oh, recipe, though. As you can see, I it's see. a little smudgy. Yes, nice illustrations, though. Yeah. Oh, this game's got a soundtrack, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm getting the audio twice. Oh, let me, uh... Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see here. What do we have? Steam through, batter, roll leak. All right. So let's just try messing around here a little bit and see what okay. happens. Yeah, I was going to ask on the podcast if there was any experimentation in this or if it's just following a recipe to the letter. There's definitely a little bit of experimentation to it. See, I think I've already done this wrong because these things are not lining up quite right. Uh -huh. Do you fail it or can you like go back? Well, here, check this out. Okay. See how it turns out. Mm. Well, that's not good. Do you think you'd really learn how to cook these from this game? 
I think you at least get a basic idea. That's cool. I always like when you take there, a real world skill out of a game. Was there any explanation of how you make the batter, though? That's the thing, is that there isn't. So there are, there are some things you will have to go and learn on your own. All right, so now I have to remember how to rotate these things in the right way. And then we got to figure out what to do with these towels. Towels? I mean, do, do they get wet? Do you soak the towels? How about Towel like first? this? Oh, okay. Oh. How about like that? Okay. Mm. How about like that? Oh, was that not shown in the book? No. Oh, okay. So there are there are things you have to just experiment to figure out. I see. Absolutely. That's cool. That's cool. And now let's try rotating this this time. Okay. And then, whoops. Hello. There we go. <laughs> Hi. 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 That. All right. That looks pretty lined up here. Wait. Okay. And you just poured the water in. Yeah, maybe I should have done that first. Let's see okay. how it turns out. Okay. It's done. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> she looks so happy. Uh-huh. Oh, I mean, God. she's not feeling well, and she has to cook for her, let's just say, incapable husband <laughs> when it comes to food, so... Yeah. Oh, damn it. I'm way too hungry to see delicious food. I'll be right back. That is unfortunately one of the problems with this game is that the food uh, is very appetizing. Yeah, dummy. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't have to. But I did have to. Damn right. Yeah, learn how to do something. Yeah. Yeah. Not just <laughs> yeah, about you. Yeah. Yeah, you could have cooked. There you go. Mm hmm. Is he also? Is it, did he immigrate also? This is in Canada, yes. right? Okay. Yeah, they're in. They're in. They don't say exactly where in Canada. I assume it's Toronto, but I I don't know for certain. Uh, yeah, but they are. They speak Tamil, uh, natively. Sorry, we're getting a little audio chop here. I think it's coming in and out, but it's mostly just the fan. Weird, because <laughs> there's very little audio to speak of. But. Yes. It's the, uh, the fan noise. So, like, at its core, this is a story about an immigrant family, like, trying to, you know, navigate the balance between assimilation and retaining your, your existing culture. Hmm. And the food is sort of the thing that they use as the centerpiece for all of that. And you said it skips time, right? Like, there are time yes. skips? Yeah, again, this game is like, it took me about 90 minutes to finish it. Um, but I don't think it's, like, too short. Like, I think it tells it the story it needs to tell in that time. And it was 15 bucks? Yeah. 12, I think, right now on Steam as is, is a launch discount. Fancy now. Mm hmm.
It's just me staring at the instant pot, <laughs> making my little chili. She does seem to be beaming. I made more of these. I'm always mm -hmm. making these. From now on, we're just eating these. Look. Look. Notice anything different? Mm -hmm. There's a devil in the sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm waiting for the husband to say, how did this happen? <laughs> Seems like one of those kind of guys. no right and wrong choices mm. remember i mean can you just move back to india i mean he was thinking about it oh, i'm saying like are there choices like that in this game no no oh. the story pretty much plays out the way it's going to okay. other than the little bits of dialogue you can choose how long did you say this is like two hours like under two hours oh wow that's why I'm not going to show a whole lot of it here, just the, the beginnings. That's like feature length film length. Mm hmm. And that's what it is. It feels like a nice animated film that takes, you know, the, the amount of time it needs to take it to tell its story, and that's it. The food thing is just like kind of a nice thing to, to sort of center everything around. I feel like you and your wife, Vinny, had that conversation at some point, but it was talking about moving to New Jersey. Hell yeah. She did not see it's so cute. To, she did not say it's so cute to see you work. Mm -hmm. Time skip. Yep. 1994. Or is that damn kid? <laughs> Units of inventory. Mm hmm. So the thing they're doing here is that the white text is uh, them speaking in Tamil. Um, oh, and then when it's gold, okay. that means they're speaking in English. Got it. A freaking kid. Freaking kid, man. I'm just gonna get up to the next food bit and then we'll uh we'll move on to the next thing. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Flip a table over. Yeah, there's no writing jobs left out here. <laughs> Hasn't been for a long time. His English seemed all right when he was on the phone. Yeah, the way it's portrayed here is that they speak enough conversational to get by in Canada, but they, you know, there are limitations to to what they've learned. Whereas Kevin, being raised here, right, kind of naturally slides into just speaking English regularly. Yeah, this is when Batman the Animated Series would have been on. This seems extremely personal. Do we know if the debt? Yes. <laughs> is Kevin the the one of the developers? I don't I don't know if it is literally like a, you know, like a semi autobiographical or just, you know, so it's a small team. Uh you know, I, I think it has a primary creative and design lead. And I assume that this is at least partially based on some aspect of their upbringing, but I, I don't know the details of it. Okay. Can you guess what he wants to eat? Uh, hot dog. Mm. It's Canada. Brad. Poutine. All right. Uh, A hockey puck. I don't know. Let's find out. Grilled cheese. There you go. Okay. Ha. Kids, kids are kids, no matter where you go. Yeah, man, he gets it. You mean like putu on the pizza? But putu, putu uh, on I, the. I see which I see uh, what you're doing there. <laughs> How is Canadian pizza? We're all our. Canucks in the chat. Is it good? I guess it probably depends where you are, right? I think I had pizza once when I was in Vancouver and it was fine. It was fine. normal. Okay. Yeah. This is some good guilt tripping right here. <laughs> Do I want pizza? <laughs> Do I want the rocket food? You want pizza. kids, man. <laughs> Turn up the radio. Here uh -huh. we go. It's time to cook. <laughs> Let her cook. <laughs> Blend to 500 grams of rice. We can do okay. that. Wait, do you, bl you blend them? Is that dry rice? Yeah. Oh, wow, like a powder. Oh, 
kind of like a flower, I guess, right? Sure. Yeah, it's rice flour. Sure. And then we take this. Hit it again. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Now we take this again. Uh huh. One more time. Where's the rocket? We're not there yet. All right. Look. Patience. Are you a child? Where's the? You promised me a rocket. We could be having pizza. There will be time for the rocket. Now we uh, we take this. Where do we put this? I don't remember where I put this? <laughs> I think we put the water. No. Let's see what it says. Separate farms are not chunk. Chunks. Chunks. Mine with five hundred. Something chunks over something. Sprinkle chunks over something. The water seemed like maybe the last step. Yeah, I don't know. I might have messed this up. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Now I can't get the water out. Blend the water. <laughs> yes. Will it blend? Done. It will not blend. I don't remember where I, how I did this. Can you put the big bowl in the, the small bowl in the bigger bowl? Oh, okay. I'm just going to start this over. Oh, wait. Soaked rice. It'll only take a moment. No. Man, my kids were watching more dang freaking cooking shows this weekend. So thought we had Why watched. We... I don't know. Why are you talking about it like they're watching like idiot cartoons? Oh, like, why I'm is that so, a bad thing? I'm so sick of this one. They were in like some. The contestants were in some like paradise garden, and there were like gods. <laughs> like they were just dressed in white suits, and they had to make food oh, for the that's gods. What it is. Just, I'm just so sick of it. I'm so sick of them all. All right, next step. This kid is like you, Vinny. Uh -huh. No patience. When are we getting the rocket? We're getting there. The only good cooking show out there is Nailed It. And it's a baking show. Man, this book has been through some shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, you know, Grandma's book. Man, this is like some specialized gear. Let's see here. All right. So we can tell that it's flour and coconut. We need to figure out the layers here. I'm thinking the coconut first. There we go. Coconut. Uh -huh. Two things of flour. Coconut. <laughs> Two things of flour. Coconut. Okay. Put the lid on. Yeah. Turn that shit on. Get ready. <laughs> wow. 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 Just like a rocket. Look, man, it was very steamy, all right? Mm -hmm. well, she, she didn't oversell it that much. Looks better than a SpaceX launch. <laughs> Good. It's timely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta do this like eight more times. Look how small that thing is. Look how good that looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Coconut, though. I'm not a huge fan of coconut. In the right context, I can get into coconut. Mm. Well, I don't want to give too much more of the story away here, because, again, it is a fairly short game, but I think that kind of gives you an idea of uh, what we're we're doing here. I think this game is real cool. Yeah, um, it seems neat. It's a good story. Yes. 
So, uh, as I said, it is 15 bucks on Steam. All of it right now as part of the discount. Uh, I say check it out. Venba. Venba. Uh, all right. I've got one here we're going to jump into quickly. Uh, it is... Let me switch this over. Let me get everybody switched back over here. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 I'll go do. update the Twitch. Start this. I have not played this yet. Is the Disney Illusion Island? Is that what it's called? Yes. yes. Disney Illusion Island. Okay. I think everybody should be set up there. That Disney game with that uh, retro aesthetic, but that's not really retro anymore because Disney has a cartoon that is. Um, I think an ongoing cartoon that is in this style. I've watched a little bit of it. It's all right. It's pretty good. It's like silly. It's a little like, I don't know, Ren and Stimpy-ish in its kind of, uh, mm. like sometimes you get those mm. close-up shots that have like a lot of hair on them. Okay. Uh, interesting throwback. Yeah. But uh, uh, Jordan Miner, who was on our podcast yesterday, um, had played this and said it was like pretty decent metroidvania especially for like your first metroidvania let's say Mm -hmm. baby's first metroidvania that's right because that's right this game's for babies i said it should we just play should we play donald and never understand donald looks real pissy yeah yes (laughs) sorry i had a that's a spicy Chinese for lunch. <laughs> the most punishing. Let's do it. Punisher Donald. Ooh. The Donald Duck voice is one of those things that 99% of the population can't do, but the 1% can't, that can do it, do it so well, it's fucking terrifying. Oddly enough, mm-hmm. it's also the 1% that can do it. It's a weird, mm-hmm. it's a weird thing about being a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, if that's the genetic marker we can, we can track with billionaires, is that we can stop them before they become billionaires. <laughs> can you do the Donald Duck voice? All right, oh. up against the wall. Oh, 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 oh look at that! Okay. Mm-hmm. Kudos to this game. They put the subtitles right on the pause menu here. That's pretty good. That's pretty, that's pretty good. good. Yeah, that's quite good, actually. Yes. Take note, developers. That's a that's a cool thing right there. That's that's a quality of life. Okay, making your subtitles red not helping me, but I'm sure they're doing it for the different voices. Huh? Huh? Nope. You know, red, the color of Nikki. Where's Sora? <laughs> it's wonderful to see you too. I got the map you sent. Wait, what? I didn't send that map. It doesn't even have coordinates or custom embossing. Donald? You can't get a picnic spot. Not exactly. Gosh, the gang's all here. I sure am glad you sent this map, or I'd never found the place. It ain't on my GPS. Goofy positioning system. How many sets of these voices have they been through at this point? I wonder. Didn't send them to each other? Like, are we on our third Goofy at this point, or fourth? I'll go with like at least three. I want to say the current Goofy has been doing Goofy for a while. I don't know about any of these other ones. Gosh. We gotta get to the bottom of. <gasps> hmm? Gorge. Am I imagining things, or does everyone else hear that noise? Gorge Sounds says like there's a key inside my toys. stomach, Mickey. Not <laughs> the usual island sound. Let's go check it out. Huh? <gasps> 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 okay. <gasps> Gorge. Okay. Gotta yeah, stop saying that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gorsh. Someone on uh, Twitter yesterday was 
talking about who framed Roger Rabbit. Uh -huh. And like the idea of whether they would ever want anything more from that franchise movie wise. And the one suggestion that was brought up was a prequel that explains the newspaper headline in that movie, Goofy Arrested on Espionage Charges. <laughs> would absolutely, <laughs> that's, that's maybe the one justification I could think of for it. That's pretty good. Because my major reaction was immediately, that movie's too good, just leave it alone, mm -hmm. don't fuck totally. this up. Totally. But then, but then that, yes, that would be pretty good. That said, if also if you did a sequel that showed the tunes doing motion capture work for a Kingdom Hearts game, oh, that geez. would be really fucking funny. Okay. The idea of cartoons doing motion capture is something uh, that has infected my brain and I can't get rid of it. Are tunes immortal? Not, they if, age? You get, not if you get dipped. That's true. Dip is the one thing know? that gets rid of them. Do we know? Everybody knows you can't kill a tune, Eddie. Mm -hmm. Yes, but can a tune die? Can a right. tune die of old age? Uh, Do they have souls to begin with? In the in Roger in Roger Rabbit, there's uh, 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 Betty Boop. She's been around mm -hmm. a while. There's some old tunes. Mm -hmm. True. They don't really age yes. exactly. I, I still to this day can't believe that movie exists. <laughs> Truly one of the greatest things to come out of my childhood era. That movie has Donald Duck and Daffy Duck playing piano against each other. I know! Like, that, that, that is the exact case that illustrates the improbability of that whole thing. That all those companies could get involved in the same project and agree and get all the licensing worked out and it actually got made. Yes. It like, seems like completely impossible today. We are the Hawkins, and I am their leader, Toku. Oh, I'm Goofy. Yes, I know. I just greeted you. Well, I remember. <laughs> Good times. Indeed. <laughs> it's like a fuzzy little pope. <laughs> uh, can someone please help move? Someone in the Twitch chat who I will not name has not seen Roger Rabbit. You should see Roger so, uh, Rabbit. Are you? You should. Who invited us here. I am. I apologize for the misleading picnic invitations, but if I told you the truth, you might not have believed. It's legitimately one of my all-time favorite movies. Like it's a yes, it's a, a good entertaining detective noir on top of everything else. Like it's not just It's a, a really good one. Yeah, like it's not it's not just the, the, the all the animation stuff is interesting, like the actual story with the detective like Eddie Valiant is a fucking incredible name for a character. Yep. And, and uh, an incredible character. It is a legitimately a, captivating mystery that also happens yeah. to be, you know, yes. a grand combo explosion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dueling with knights, swashbuckling his musketeers, and even contesting giants high atop a beanstalk. I mean, wow. Gosh, we have done heroic All-time Bob Hoskins performance, all-time Christopher yeah. Lloyd performance. Yes. yes. Well, sure, but... Don't you want to be real heroes for a change? Yeah. Well, I think if others are in need, we should help them. And if that makes us heroes, then let's be heroes. Reason 4,897 why I love you, Minnie. Say, what are we wishing Maybe we should do some Robert Zemeckis oh, stuff yeah. at some point on the Watchcast. Yeah. Tell Enough of it is good. Need, Toku. We'll do oh. however we can. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh, you know, I cannot tell you oh, how Bob. I am. <laughs> Now you see this magnificent yet empty bookcase? Normally, it holds three tomes of knowledge, a trio of powerful magical books that contain all the wisdom of our land. Now, as long Sounds as like a quest to me. Uh -huh. money shelves, prosperity reigns for the people of Monarch. Hang on, the books are gone. Yes, I know. What happens when the books aren't on the shelf? Oh. Great calamity will befall our world, and a thousand evils will rain down on I might walk that back a little bit, having looked at his filmography. There's good stuff in there. It's, it's mostly Roger Rabbit and Back to the Future, actually. Can, well, people like Death Becomes Her, right? Yeah, yes, yes. That movie's great. Okay. I mean, we could throw one of the not-so-great ones in there and make it a month. I was just going to say the Polar the Express. Yes, yes, we <laughs> okay. Too weak. Too weak. Okay, he didn't direct it. 
Yes, Neil wrote the story for it. We could always just do Tales from the Crypt or Devil of Blood. That could be the other one. The point is... Or Back to the Future, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. Heroes, and you four, well, your exploits are famous. Your bravery, legendary, and to, to put it simply, you're, you're just what Polar we Express. need. What our world needs. What do you say? Sure. <laughs> of course. Contact's pretty good. Yep. <laughs> Donald? We can reward you handsomely. <laughs> That's like a game of D and D. D and D rules. You must travel to All right, Zemeckis wrote 1941, so that counts. The tomes of knowledge, but be prepared; it will not be easy. One of Spielberg's more but notorious flops. Readily part with the books, but that was pretty early, right, in his career. Seventy-nine. Will help. Words oh, yeah. are the most powerful weapon, you know. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Spielberg. These words, when <clears throat> spoken me. aloud, create a sequence. It's kind of the reason that he got started, these. right? It's mm -hmm. better than any can in him. There's no messy cleanup. So it's like a magic spell? Yes. Just utter these <laughs> words. TBD. 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 Wait, are those placeholder words or the actual words? Yes. And we can use the spell on anybody? No. The writing seems alright like, for this game. Hmm. This is like weirdly self-aware for the, the cartoon Mouse. is also. Okay. So you can't make a just straight up earnest Disney cartoon the now. The kids, the kids will not. reject it. it will I guess yes. Humanity has been too irony poisoned. Yeah. Such is the nature of magic. Oh, I've got a question. Where's the picnic? No, that was a ruse. A what? No, a, 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 a ploy, a sham, a, a, a deception. Oh, are there sandwiches? There is no. <laughs> it's okay. We'll explain. Don't you worry, Toku. We won't let you down. Oh, thank you. All of you. Toku, where can we find the tomes? I do not have the exact... Where are the tomes at? <laughs> but we believe each thief can be located within a different part of Monarch. I suggest you travel to Terrarium Town within Pavonia, the biome to the west. This is the last known sighting of one of the tomes. I've marked the location on these mobile communication devices. I don't know if you noticed this my switch dimmed because it was going to sleep because this is so long. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a long <laughs> intro. It's quite long. Took me less time to build like... that steamy rocket ship. <laughs> it's true. That seemed to go well. This is, this is definitely the kind of thing uh, most people don't give a shit about. I wonder if this is FMV or if this is all just being animated on the fly. I assume the latter, because mm. that would be a lot of FMV. Well, they don't usually make the animators work live. It's a terrible strain on the wrist. This is why we need better unions. Okay. I got glimped. Gustav glimped. You got that glimpse. <laughs> Could have called it anything. Mm -hmm. We called it glimped. <laughs> Glimped. Good animation. Yeah. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I think the novelty of, wow, it looks like a cartoon, has worn off on me a little bit ever since Cuphead kind of came oh, in yeah. and sort of defeated that whole thing. But I can still appreciate a nice, nice 2D self-shaded animated thing. Kind of not much left to do after Cuphead. <laughs> Uh, all right, come back for that. Metroidvania. Wow, a lot of checkpoints. So I wonder what uh, oh. what like what the punishing difficulty would be, you know? Oh. Where it's like make it easier. I may, oh, I think Jordan said it's the health, right? If you hit something, you can die in one hit or not. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 
<laughs> How much glimpse is this gonna cost me, Mazzy? Is he kind of Mazzy? Kind of looks like he's been playing a lot of Speed Freak. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little that's a little shout out for this week's podcast if you haven't listened yet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh. I'll give something crappy to Donald. I understand their importance in the lineage of all things animated and certainly in establishing the Disney juggernaut that is today, but I have to tell you, I was always a lot more of a Merry Melodies slash Looney Tunes guy than I ever was Disney cartoons. Same here. Also, the Disney Channel was expensive. So yeah. Just, I just watched Warner Brothers cartoons. I only watched the syndicated stuff like DuckTales and Darkwing Duck, and that was kind of it. Sure. Gummy Bears, Chippendales Rescue Rangers. Actually, mm -hmm. maybe I watched a lot of it. I didn't want to shot. There's so much Looney Tunes, dude. <laughs> Look at me. I've got a double jump. And I'll say this, because I talk to my wife about it all the time. I got exposed to a lot of classical music through uh, Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It worked. Steal my thunder, Mickey. Oh, boy. Ooh. Huh. My exposure to classical music through Looney Tunes. I got my exposure to antiquated film references and local Midwestern pop culture uh, through Mystery Science Theater. Can I get up here? Really covers the whole spectrum right there. Uh huh. All right, let's just see where this goes. I think I've said this before somewhere, but in elementary school, I did my, we had to do like, um, dress up as a person of history and do like an oral report. And I did Mel Blanc, uh, and dressed up in like a sports coat and told the story of him basically eating carrots and drinking water while doing voices. How did the cat, uh, the, the teachers and the, and the rest of your class respond to that? <laughs> I don't remember. You know, this is back in the 20s, so. Ooh, how do I get that thing? Uh-oh. I almost got hit on that one. Can we go in the water yet? No. Yeah, ducks can't go in water. Everyone knows no. that. Stupid duck. He's even supposed to be a sailor duck. You know, I don't think this is the most challenging game. I don't think it's supposed to be. It's yeah, okay. I don't think it's supposed to be. Again, there's no combat in this game. It is entirely platforming puzzles. Oh, hell yeah, look at that. Wake up, mailbox. Do I 
use keys for these doors? I've been told that keys open doors, but I can't confirm that. A full set unlocks a door. Okay. Oh, that thing would have killed me. Oh shit. Hmm. He went into a letter. What the hell is happening? Oh, the mailbox. Okay. That's. Okay. That's funny. Mm -hmm. The idea that you, when you die, you get mailed back to the nearest <laughs> mailbox. I'm not sure what the canonical reason for that is, but maybe I missed it. This might be a question that has no, like, single answer, and that's fine. Except for um, this portal cubes. But, but I'm curious, uh, for those out there in chat and on the stream who have access to ch children, what is the most popular cartoon thing these days? Like, what what is the thing all the kids watch? Oh. Is there is there one thing? There may not be, is the thing. I don't know. Spy family. Oh, just into their own shit now, right? Bluey? Seeing a lot of Bluey in the, in the, dis in the Twitch chat? Oh, we have watched a lot of Bluey. Yeah, listen, I understand YouTube and Roblox videos are very popular among kids these days. I'm just talking about, like, actual classic animation. Oh. As classic as it gets these days. The kids watch some Rainbow High. I don't know if the other okay. kids are watching Rainbow High. I also see a lot of anime in here, maybe for these slightly older children. So that's, I mean, there's a lot more access to it these days. Does Pokemon count as anime? <sighs> Look, I don't want to have this argument again. <laughs> it's, is it Japanese animation? Then fucking yes, it is, okay? Okay, okay. Oh, shit. Call me snoozing. Think about Pokemon. But is, is, is anime just an animation style? Is it a country of origin? Is it a certain cultural sensibility? What is, is anime? MC Hammer's Hammerman anime. Yes. <laughs> Good. Glad we could answer that. Where was that damn door? All right, here's an actually good one. Okay. From Scott Vegeta in the Twitch chat. Check this out. Was the Inspector Gadget cartoon anime? I think that was a Japanese animation studio. Mm. I think it was written in the West, but I'm pretty sure that was made by a Japanese animation studio. Inspector Gadget's my correctly. favorite anime. I'm wrong about that, please let me know, but I'm pretty sure I remember that. Who did the voice of uh, Gadget? It's uh, like it was somebody uh, famous, right? Maxwell Smart, wasn't it? It's is, the, is the that who it is? Maxwell Smart, yeah. Okay. And j just to refresh my memory, he was a real person that got turned into like a bionic man yes. or okay and that's yes, really he's a his, human it's really his daughter penny uh or niece niece, niece. Okay. i didn't know inspector oh, yes. gadget had an origin story i don't was think he... they ever get into it on the show but the idea is that he was a detective a bumbling detective that then got made into a robot man you don't you didn't see that episode where he got uh captured by the drug dealers and then they use shotgun to blow off like his limbs and stuff and then they Whoa, uh, they rebuild him They'll fix you. They fix everything. <laughs> Is he awake? Is he awake? Gadget. I mean, Ro Robocop and Inspector Gadget happening around the same time. <laughs> it's kind of hard to, you know, pull those two things together. I really liked Inspector Gadget when I was a kid. Yeah, me too. He kind of had, like, whatever he wanted, right, at times? 
gadget wise. He definitely would just say a thing and then suddenly he had that gadget, despite never having seen that before. That would happen from time to time. I copped her legs. We had some standbys, mm -hmm. but he was, uh... That's plus. Oh, you missed it. What did I miss? You unlocked an accomplishment. Uh oh, you want to see my accomplishments? I want to see your accomplishments. Hmm. Those are definitely accomplishments, yes. Go, Let's go, gadget started. accomplishments. Got an Inspector um, Gadget on the brain today. We were doing our Planorama and that new party game thing with Inspector Gadget is out next month. Iron Mouse mode. I have got the next Nintendo console on the brain. Mm. Yeah. And, and looking at this makes me think like, all right, here, here comes their next opportunity to do some kind of account level progress tracking. Mm. It doesn't have to be achievements, but something something very Ninten uniquely Nintendo. I mean, they do have unified logins now for accounts. Never been a better time. To be clear, I don't think they will do anything. I absolutely would, would put money on them doing nothing in that vein. But it would be cool if they did. What if they put them in and then did them for all their, like, virtual console games? What if they brought back Street Passing? Oh, boy. Okay, I've, now you're speaking you my language. The Switch doesn't leave the back, dock. What if they brought back Street Pass and you could unlock clothing for your Miis based on the games you have played and what you have done in them? I mean, they kind of had that, right? Like, they, they almost... I guess kind of let you unlock stuff like that, right? How did you, I can't remember how you got close. <laughs> yes, also bring back me verse. Just fucking you had it in the palm mm -hmm. of your hand. You had so much good. Solution. There's so much good, and you just let it all go. Oh man, I miss street passing so much. Granted, I don't leave the house that much these days, and especially not with the 3DS <laughs> or a Switch. But Free passing at PAX was the best part of PAX. Shoot. Yeah. No, you know well, just every, PAX is all right. Every couple hours, I'm just going to sit down somewhere for five minutes and go through my street passes because they've filled up again, and I need to clear them mm -hmm. out so I can get more. I need my puzzle pieces. Yep. Man, that stuff was so awesome. It was literally the only reason I did that stuff was I wanted all the damn puzzle pieces for some fucked up reason. <laughs> what was that mm -hmm. dun dungeon they had where you can go explore like a cave or... Oh, yeah. Oh, right, yes. Yeah, but yes, they had freaking Street Pass based games <laughs> at some point. Yeah, like, oh, that was so a, awesome. A ticket or something, right, to go explore? Nintendo used to know how to have fun. Uh oh. Now the eShop doesn't even have music. It's a godless fucking place, man. What? Am I speaking on puzzle pieces? Am I just getting pieces of a picture? Probably. Uh oh, things are escalating so I, here. To be fair, I also remember toward the end of the 3DS era when people. I can't remember if you had to hack the 3DS for this or not, but people started figuring out how to proxy street passing of, over the internet. Of course, so you, could just get, you could just get street passes you were missing by cheating. That's pretty good. On, on Wi Fi. I would never. That is without honor. Yeah, I did not do that. The real thing was street passing at TGS. And then you're like, oh man, get some actual Nintendo devs on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, this seems like a tough key to get. I don't think it's that tough. Nah, maybe not that tough. Overrated. But we'll say it again. This is a game that is aimed at children, so... <laughs> Should we move on from this uh, game here? I have no worries about the checkpointing. I'm pretty sure it I think checkpoints you're fine. every five seconds. Mm -hmm. I think this will be fun to play with the kids, I hope. Seems very forgiving. I do wonder what happens. murdered Donald Duck. Yeah, I just, I just put him in an envelope. All right, Brad. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you are ready to take it on. Glimp. Glimped. <laughs> Glimped.
All right. Let's get down to business here. All right. Hell yeah. Shoemaker, come Love over business. to you. Uh oh. Got the business open. All right. Remember if this game starts with Castle or Mickey challenge, go. It's Castle. Castle. It's Castle, but I had to make sure before this. Uh, I thought it would behoove us since you were playing that and since uh-huh. they deployed. They strategically uh, deployed the term illusion in the title of that game mm-hmm. to go back to the beginning. Remind ourselves where it all started. We got to go back, Jack. This isn't the real beginning. This is where it got good. But let's not forget about Mickey Mouse paid for the NES. Never forget. The one I had. <laughs> the one Disney game I owned somehow. I can, I can fire that up too if you want. I would love to. Yeah. I would love it if you did that. I haven't seen that game in a very long time. Mickey Mouse Capade was a real pain in the ass, and I still don't remember how I got it. I think I got it as a gift one birthday. And back then, if you got a video game, it didn't matter if it was good or That's hard right. or what. You used every part of that <laughs> damn video game. But this was a good no, game. Yes. Yeah, no, this game's a classic. Also, yeah, I yep. don't... God, what, what filter did I leave this on? I always forget I have to turn this off from streams. Uh, if there's any Mr. Developer's core, if the, gen- the developer of the Genesis core or any cores are watching, yes. actually, this would be a Mr. Level feature. A one-button toggle to turn off all the video processing. <laughs> be nice. Okay. Uh, maybe. Maybe someday. This was a very good game, though. Oh, yes. One of the only Genesis games I played in its era because I had a friend yeah, who was, fucking loved this game. This is um, this is an early Genesis classic. What's the one? What's the one, Mickey Mouse one that Warren Spector did? Uh, uh, Epic Mickey. Yes, yeah, Epic. and Epic Mickey 2. <laughs> epic Mickey. What epic name? Mickey. They were not so epic. The hell's your problem, man? Standing behind standing, right? Not just like disembodied here. Uh, I don't know. Oh man, I gotta get a CRT in my life at some point. <laughs> Things people over 40 say. of room is behind this door bad room probably a normal room nothing weird there's a forest in this room <laughs> oh you can't jump on stuff Wood in this game stage. a very long time since I played this get those apples I was watching an episode of the Computer Chronicles. Where, can you jump on anything in this? I can't remember. I don't remember. I did not have a Genesis. They made a huge deal. There was a guy on there that they had. They had Sega and the NEC employees on the Computer Chronicles showing off the Genesis and Turbo graphics. Okay. The Sega guy. The Sega guy was like, it's like, see Mickey standing here. Now watch what happens when he gets close to the ledge. Uh huh. Look, this was this oh, was a big deal. Oh my God. You know, like he was just going on and on about like the expressiveness of 16-bit graphics, which you know, you, sure, huge you deal. Should. There was okay, you so should. that for 16-bit graphics, and then for modern games, it's when oh. somebody puts their hand out and touches a wall <laughs> as they walk yes. by. You know. Uh, also, Brad, you can butt stomp by pressing down when you jump. Oh, that's right. Okay, that's yeah, sorry. It's been Thank you, chat. Such a long time. I don't know if you can stomp these. Do you remember, like, look, when you rented a game, be it a Super Nintendo or, I assume, a Genesis game as well, the first thing you do is wait to see what kind of idle animations there were. Yep. Usually, yes. Like, oh my gosh, Earthworm Jim is, like, more Oof. idle animation than animation.
old video games. Is it boss time already? Can't believe we didn't get those out. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, there's more. Oh. Of course there's more. The old butt stomp. <laughs> Mickey's not above it. How do you grab things? I, I still haven't figured out how you grab. Do you have to just Up. touch the very end? And that was oh, how sure. Mickey Mouse's copyright ended. <laughs> Let's find out. Yes, you just have to grab the very end. Ah! These butterflies are deadly, man. Oh. Bite your head off. This place is infested with lantern flies. Grab! Oh, I'm doing my part! <laughs> uh oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh jeez. Ah! Oh, I thought it was gonna fall in that hole. Oh yeah, the spiders. Well, that oh, can't boy. be good. Oh, I have no apples. Oh boy. Ah! And I must scream. <laughs> and he did scream, yes. As somebody who didn't have a Genesis, I can't look at this game without seeing it through the lens of like, man, that looks amazing. Like this ah. is some next gen stuff. Yeah, I mean, I was a Super Nintendo kid pretty much the whole way through, but I there was definitely a little bit of like secret. Oh god damn it! Everything sounds better on this console. Mm. Everything looks a little bit sharper on this console every time I would go to a friend's house. Whoa! Can I get that? Do I risk it? I don't know. That seems. Oh, so oh boy. Mm -mm. I had to know. There was a kid I knew I went to his house one time and it was to see and play Strider and I never went back to that kid's house again. Mm -hmm. That would happen. Because I what saw happened with that kid? <laughs> I think because I, I saw Strider and it, uh, okay. Strider's yeah. not that long a game. Okay, yes. so we all had that one person in our class who we only hung out <laughs> with because they either had the cool toys or the cool video games, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it might have been... Yeah. Yes, no, I vividly remember going to a kid's house that I wasn't great friends with because he got Super Mario Brothers 2. Mm hmm. I had to see that shit. Uh -huh. Whoa! Doesn't even have to be that the kid had a bad personality, though I will say, in my case, the oh, kid I went like to, that. whose house I went to, did have a bad personality, but there's always one. And this kid wasn't terrible, it just, you know. Can't stop these things. Is that what I just? Oh, you can. Hmm. Is it a dead end or isn't it? Oh, or is it a castle of illusion? Oh, it's a dead end. oh I remember. Mm -hmm. Are there secrets? That, that sound. A weird sound. All right, over uh, or, or the chances that it says tries because somebody at Disney did a lot like it saying lives. Lives, yeah. What Mickey Mouse can never die. That's right. A decent chance. Oh, damn it. A decent chance of that. It was this and Moonwalker that they showed off on the Computer Chronicles. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sonic the Hedgehog, of course. Of course. I think the boss is soon. Oop. What? <laughs> ah, yes. Well, that's a boss in this game. I remember this guy. This looks like that Kirby boss stage that's in like every Kirby game. Oop. A little less with the demon face on the tree though. Just 
Starting to flash a little. Ah! Ah. Uh, Got his ass. Right. With your ass. Yeah. Mickey acting all innocent. He just murdered a tree. With your butt. Oh, that's one of seven. One of seven gems, I guess. Maybe this game is not as long as I remember. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I mean, I've ever finished this game. My recollection is it gets a little harder after this. All right, Brad, show me my childhood. <laughs> yeah, let me let me see what the next level looks like, and then I'll All right. jump over there. Yeah, okay. Right. I remember that. Vaguely. This... Do you guys remember Little Fucking Nemo? That game? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that game was That wasn't awesome. the yeah. official title, I don't think. <laughs> little Fucking Nemo, but yes. I, a little, little Nemo the Dream Master. I've never played that, yeah. but I used to look at it in Nintendo Power a lot and think, man, that looks cool. I just got a 100%. real little, little Nemo flashback from this level. I don't know why, but Dude, man, I mean, played a lot of that game. They're making a new Little Nemo. Wait, what? I have... I have the demo installed. I've had this demo installed on Steam since the next next fest. Oh, somebody man. is making a new. Somebody's making a new little Nemo game as we speak. It's bizarre. That's, but like licensed or like related to. I mean, I don't know if you have to license it, Little Nemo, but is it, is it public domain at this point? I would. Isn't, I think probably is old enough at this point, right? I don't know. Well, isn't Little Nemo like in Slumberland is from like 1905. <laughs> right. It's yeah. It's super. Ah, god damn it. Okay. Uh, let's see if the mister loses my Bluetooth pairing as it is wont to do when I reboot it. Man, Little Nemo. I haven't thought about that game in so long. Oop. And the animated film was from the 80s, right? I didn't know there was an animated film. Yes. Little Nemo grows up. Working, uh, working uh, Chris Columbus co wrote the screenplay for it. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Like seen Little Nemo, the animated film. Oh, I bet there's a bunch of Mickey Mouse games, aren't there? Uh, might match. Maybe not that many. Which which one did you want, Alex? Mouse Sorry? paid. Okay. This game, the pain in the butt. It's I did beat I it multiple remember. times. I seem to remember that. <laughs> get over here! <laughs> get your ass over here! We got a job to do! Oh god, yes! Right! You have to worry about both their health, right? Well, it's just one... I think it's just one set of health, but like... But I mean, they, they both can take hits separately yes. is what I mean, right? Yes, exactly. So like there, Minnie got hit, and so you both got hit. Right, right. And like Minnie lags control-wise behind Mickey a little bit, so it's like kind of tricky to keep them both from getting hit. Whoa! Hello. Yep. Okay, now I can shoot stars, right? I believe yes. so, yes. <laughs> Un unlimited. And you can shoot those remember. lamps, too. Like, items will fall come out of them. Oh. oh. Sometimes. Oh, so the Castlevania. Yeah. Oh god, yes, this is just pie. like some the Let's sense take. memory of this sound is coming back to me. The afternoons mm. I spent just getting my ass kicked by this thing. Uh Artifice Chow with the uh very nicely done uh, oh. Mice, oh, damn it. mice climbers. Very good. Just wanna recognize. Huh? Oh my god. I'm trying to remember who gave me this as a gift. I think it might have been my grandmother. Oh, there's some kind of right. present in that window. There's a pervert in there. <laughs> what you doing? Um, What's going on in there? Talking to the chat, uh, the chat over there in the Discord. I think this did say Capcom at the top, right? Yes, Capcom did publish yes. this. Hudson was yeah, also Capcom. involved. Okay, this has Hudson vibes all over it. You know, come out of a damn right. egg with a skateboard. 
Capcom, Capcom did a number of Mickey Mouse games, including the Super Nintendo one, which is my actual favorite. Okay. Yeah. Like, that game rules. It's actually awesome. I think I should, I they just had the Disney license for a long time. I should go... I should fire that up before we go. Yeah! Look at that owl! Look at that owl! That owl is over this shit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And Al is on weed drugs. That fucking cat! I know that cat! <laughs> you know what? That cat has Rooms. similar colorings to Tangy. Just gonna say. Mm -hmm. oh. Now I know why you have Tangy. It's just mm -hmm. burned in your head. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and like the cat in the video game, Tangy is always trying to murder me. <laughs> My legs, specifically. I never played this much of this. Are you in this kind of building the whole time, or...? No, 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 no. There's other levels. Hi. Oh, boy. Oh, whatever. Exactly. Oh, oh! Oh, ah, wow. Fuck you, chest! <laughs> That's this kind of game, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Back when every video game was just an asshole by default. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, shoot that window. Shoot that window. Which window? The one oh, you were just wait, shooting. Really? There's a secret there. Oh. Ooh, oh. slow down. Ah. Wait. I think you might have lost is it. Is it gone? Oh, yeah, boo. I think it's gone. How about this window? There it is. There it is. Free diamond! Your fall? No. Nope, not that one. <laughs> Gotta keep you on your toes, man. <laughs> oh, that's another window you can yeah, shoot. Yeah, that window was taking hits as well. Oh, shit. Oh, well, too late. Get those other bosses. Eh, just go fight the witch. Yeah. Who cares? We're not here for the full playthrough, you know? Oh. Shit. Oh man, this is rough. <laughs> this this witch almost made me quit this ah. game the first few times I played it. Because I was like seven? <laughs> Six? Oh man. I don't know if I have it in me to go find the door that this key goes to. Oh, it was all the way back to the very beginning, right? Key! Yeah. Oh, it was. Yeah. Does that get you out of this level? I believe it does. Okay. I'll go see what the next level looks like. Oh, <laughs> no, come here, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This uh -oh. is the other thing. This is the other thing. Ah, oh, get up here. Are there puzzles later that involve doing that? Like, splitting the team? <sighs> I don't remember. Hmm. I don't think it's that nuanced. Dude, you have to go through the whole level again with all the enemies back? Mm -hmm. Look, man. These games were not long. Oh. Maybe she doesn't take hits the same did, way. Did seem like she got a freebie on that one. It could also just be bad collision detection is the other thing. Oh, stupid cat. Fuck you. <laughs> oh! Just making a break for it. That's oh, the right thing to do. Never gonna know what's up with that prevert in the window. <laughs> I think you're almost there. Yeah. There it is. Ye. I wonder what will get you through that door. Exit. Wow. Oh, I did make it before. I remember that big, fat exit. Yeah, I do, too. Whoa, Mickey. Chill out a little bit, man. Ah! <laughs> kinda... Love that Joker! <laughs> oh, boy. Huh. I remember this, yeah. 
it just, it, it just immediately becomes like a pretty different kind of game, huh? Mm hmm From the, from the kind of room-based ladder stuff to just this, whoa, much more standard platformer. Oh, yeah, these waves are a fucker. This is, this is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got someone to pay $70 oh, for this cartridge? Now suffer. Oh, where is it? I hit it. Man, what's all the crucifixes what? on the uh, sprites there? Sorry, Minnie. Oh, gosh, Minnie. Too busy trying to find that secret. Oops. Um, the ocean. <laughs> um, uh, all right. Want to move on to the other, other one? Yeah. I have, to, I have to play Magical Quest for a minute. By all means. I saw what I wanted to see. <laughs> the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse? I asked the or one. The or Disney's Magical Quest starring Mickey and Minnie? Oh. 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 Oh, boy. I'm assuming it's the former, not the latter, because one has 1.7 thousand followers on Twitch, the other has 24. Oops. Oh, wait, it is, that is him. I think M it's... I believe it's M I C K E Y M O U S E. It's always it's always a crapshoot. Does it start with Mickey Mouse or does it start with the title starring mm -hmm. Mickey Mouse? Mm. Here's a trip. Yes, if I remember. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, did you put the code seeing in? that seeing that on not Street Fighter Two is interesting. Put the code in so they can choose the... We can both be goofy. I think there is a code for this, actually, that lets you use any costume at any time. Okay. You guys played this? Uh, yeah. I rented it. Long time okay. ago, but yes. Yeah. A friend of mine had this. Played quite a bit of it. I think I rented it once, and that was probably about it. I also was not a big Disney Disney kid. Yeah, me either. Honestly. Gorsh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gorsh! Later. No oh, permanent. Permanent sigh making me realize that's also the Street Fighter 2 font, isn't it? Mm hmm. Go home and be a family man. Yep. <laughs> My life! Is this hell? No, just copyright hell. That's right. I have to do this forever. Yes, Mickey will never know rest. Just give me peace. Okay, time to remember how to play this game. Yes, okay, right. Mm hmm. Wait a yes, right. See, you can do cool shit like this. Mm -hmm. Just like smack that bird and make it fly away. That's what Mickey does. Grab this door and press a button to fling it open. Mickey, you're talking to God. <laughs> okay, Emperor, I think I, we might have talked about this before. Sorry, what were you saying, Brad? Emperor Pete. Oh, Emperor mm -hmm. Pete. He's a real asshole. Uh, worldwide, probably I've asked this question, the same question. Worldwide, though, more recognition, all ages, every human, Mario okay. or Mar... Mario or Mickey? At this point, definitely Mario. You would say a definite Mario? 20 years yes. ago, I would have disagreed. Now, I think it's uh, enough of the olds have passed that uh, yeah. maybe Mario has taken over. I, I think that actually happened like in the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 
based on a podcast I was listening to recently about the Nintendo Sega Wars. Oh. So there, there was a period, there was a period in the 90s where Sonic was more recognizable than Mario for a while. It's a dark time, but I don't think, I don't think that lasted. What do you think percentage of humans that couldn't rec- couldn't call out by name Mickey Mouse? Mm, I don't know. Of the, of the world population that, let's say over, over eight. Like 30%? It's just- I think oh. the only thing that keeps Disney and Mickey in particular in in the mind of even places where like new Mickey stuff does not appear yeah. is that there is just oh, no. so much Disney merch That's everywhere. What I mean. Oh yeah. And there's a lot of cheap Disney merch that has just found its way to everywhere. That's right. Like just places of the world where bad Disney shirts are with a Mickey Mouse on them. Or totally. A pencil case or a you know, br- hairbrush or a backpack. Oops. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, shit. I got one heart. Let's screw this but, up. But also, Nintendo does that same exact thing now. Like, where. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now they definitely do. I mean, that movie didn't make a fucking billion dollars for no reason, you know? <laughs> Jeez. I mean,. Sort of defies reason, but it, <laughs> it did make a lot of money. I wish that movie was better. Yeah, me too. Maybe the sequel not, will be better. It's not terrible. It's just sort of, it's so bland. Yes. I'll say this. My kids have not like gone out of their way to ask to watch that movie again or anything. Yeah. And they watched the Sonic movie like a hundred times. I would honestly rather watch the Sonic movie, and let me tell you right now, that is a dark thing for me to be <laughs> saying. Oh no, those are spikes. Yeah. I thought you got your first suit right at the top here. I forgot that you do not. Also, what is no suit is for you? First suit. I can't remember what the first suit is. Is it Fireman? It's uh, Goofy's skin. You're wearing your first suit, man. It's the her suit. <laughs> he's, he's hairy. Mouse. Hairy, hairy, hairy mouse. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Yeah. First suit is after the first boss, Brad. Oh, boy. Okay. Ah, shit. Oh, jeez. It's a big old tomato. Now you got it. Now you got it. Now you're Mickey Mouse and oh boy. Come back. Okay. That's messed up, Pete. Is that a, that's not a Pete? Jump on, Is that not a Pete? I jump on that's you. That's not a Pete. And I jump on you. It's just a weird little fucking gargoyle man. It's no not Pete. It's not Pete in a bat outfit throwing out little Pete heads. Uh, I don't think so. Pete has more of a five o'clock shadow <laughs> thing going on. Okay. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> not entirely on it today. Oh come on. Uh Yeah, that's a rough checkpoint. Oh boy, I forgot that I had the jump. Okay, all right. Maybe, maybe we won't see the first suit. Oh. Okay. oh I'm so sorry, Mickey. You're, you're dead. <laughs> I have to send you to hell now. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, them's the rules, Mickey. Okay, yeah. if this is a straight up beginning of World One, then forget it. Say yeah, hi okay, to Okay, fine. Say hi to Walt for me. Oh, I'm over here. Okay, one more. One, time. two. All right. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> that really steams your tomato, huh? Oh. What? What? It's sensual. This is actually a good question here from Sriracha Chili in the uh, the chat. Can a mister do Game Shark cheats? Um, I don't 
think so. I don't know if anybody has worked mm -hmm. on that or not. Hmm. It's it not has really its own cheat. Yeah. It does Game. have its own cheats, which, I, which oh. maybe I should look at, actually. I've never messed with the cheats on here, actually. Uh, it has its own kind of cheat definitions. Maybe I should, should I just, oh, hey, look. You know, some of the, okay, I guess some of these are you know, Game Genie codes then. Okay. A Game Genie. Um, in fact, you can, it looks like, it looks like these cheats are of different classifications. Have all costumes. Raw. Okay, well, I just gave myself all the costumes, apparently. <laughs> there you go. He's getting naked cool. under there. Uh -huh. Oh my god, I completely forgot. <clears throat> bionic Commando. <laughs> just, just, just fucking Bionic Commando. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, literally. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think I ever actually clocked this back in the day. That like, I think they lifted the mechanics, like, seriously. It feels identical. Look, Bionic Commando can't jump, all right? I think I do. I think they actually like they straight up just borrow source code. <laughs> it feels exactly the same. Hey, look at this. It's illegal. Yes. Oh wow! Hey, who knew? Secrets. Give so yourself infinite money. Bought it all. I think I already bought it all. Oh. What else we got here? How do you how do you change suits? There we go. Like that. Does this one have like a magic carpet? No. Oh, you just shoot magic, right? Uh-huh. I feel like I remember I feel like I remember a fair amount of like putting out fire type puzzles in this. Or maybe they were just enemies, I don't know. Can I kill this guy with water? Let's find out. Put on hyper oh. questions. These questions were not meant to be answered, but it looks like you sure can. Oh, this is the yeah, that's right. This is the suit from that Nintendo Power cover we were looking at, where it looked like uh, yeah. Mickey was spraying uh, peat and cum. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Man, boy, this works. I'm actually doing damage. Oh yeah, I mean he's blinking. That's Super Nintendo for damage. You are running out of juice. I bet there's more where that came from. Is he actually taking damage or is he just looking like he is? I'm not sure. I mean, those go. things are dying, yeah. Go oh, cheese. How do you get more magic juice? I don't know. Do you not take a suit off once you've got one on, I guess not? What other anyway. cheats were in there? Uh, let's see. As usual, the cheats have completely trivialized the experience of playing this game. Uh -huh, that's right. You know what I mean? That's right. And so, and so now I'm done. <laughs> Hyper Mickey. Hyper Mickey. Oh yeah. Oh, that doesn't look right. I don't know if that's working as intended. When you shoot, oh! is it fast? I got the shakes, man. <laughs> He's just speed. He's been playing Speed Freak. Okay, Hyper Mickey. Okay, infinite mm. everything. Oh my gosh, Moon Jump. Jump height modifier. Jump in midair. Oh my gosh. Buildings. <laughs> I can jump. Just to uh, turn moon on jump. all the jumps. Yeah, and see all what happens. the jumps. Two different versions of Moon Jump. Oh boy. Uh. Hey. Okay. I think it's gonna be pretty easy to finish this level now. I asked my kid the other day, Alex, I'll ask you this question. 
Would you rather have a superpower? You have flight, but it, it goes out every once in a while intermittently with no warning as a superpower? Ooh. Or would you rather have super jump, but you don't get invincibility with it? So as in, like, I can't just do the fucking superhero three-point land every time? No, you shatter your, <laughs> you'd shatter your legs and just... Can I have neither of these? <laughs> Can I just be normal? <laughs> nope, you gotta have a superpower. Oh. All right, I guess I'll I do the if... flight where I'm invincible, but it goes out on me every once in a while. <laughs> well, you're not invincible. Well, then what the fuck? Oh, hey. Yeah. Saw, oh, he landed. Hey, good down. job. <laughs> came back down. All right, one more thing before we get out of here. I think we landed on, my son and I landed on flight because you can kind of hover over the ground a little bit at least. Right. I don't, I don't know where to find the note that is being referred to here. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's probably some way to manipulate it to input a level or something. I guess. There. I've turned on begin at last level. Oh, I can't hear that without my hands wanting to do that that freaking Street Fighter code. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Does it just start me there if I start a new game? Is that how this works? Nope. It knows where you are. Interesting. Look at this. It's going to beat the game. Get in there, Mickey. Arf, arf. <laughs> Why? That's that's Pluto's music. There's only one actual dog in all of Disney, and it's Pluto, <laughs> so you know exactly. Reading this dialogue and hearing it in Mickey Mouse's voice makes me realize that, yes, you probably cannot make a straightforward, earnest Mickey Mouse cartoon these days. Mm -hmm. Too corny. Okay. Wait, where's, where's my 10 hearts? Where's your super jump? Oh. He'll just wait. Mm. Push him in the water. Filthy! Unclean! <laughs> ah, I thought that might work. I think that's like even the same like Bionic Commando sound. Capcom, you lazy fucks. I mean, I cannot, I cannot stress how much the controls for this <laughs> feel like Bionic Commando. He's farting every time you do that. Uh-huh. Hmm. Do something with this? Oh, look at that. Whoa, nice! Oh no. What is this thing? Oh no, sorry hey, oh, about that. Oh, Brad! Mm. A nightmare. Ah, oh, yes. Ah. Can you fix that other All right. Have we had our no. fill of breaking this game. Yes. It's no fixing what you just broke. Ugh. I did not like that. Ready to get out of here? Yeah, cheats are fun, but they sure do make you just kind of like go, eh, okay, fine. Goodbye, game. Load up the. It was um, fun for five minutes. Why don't you load up the uh, intro to Little Nemo, the Dream Master? Well, we got to get uh, that part of my just brain little, can go back to sleep. Nemo. For another just give me a little, just a little taste. Just a little oh, taste of Nemo. Tiny bit of Nemo. Just a little Nemo. I can't believe they're doing a remake. I have to go look that up. Or I don't uh, think it's the first I'd heard of that. It's a, it's a, I think it's a new game, like an okay. original game. I forget what it is called. Uh, is it L? Is it Little Nemo? A little Nemo with the Dream Master. The Dream Master. Yes, that's right. Little Nemo and the Guardians of Slumberland oh. by by developer Die Soft. 
I okay. think it might be a Metroidvania or something similar. I'm not sure. Kind of looks like it. Oh. I always, like I said, I was always fascinated by this game. It looked very colorful in, in the magazine. It's like kind of an awesome game. Oh, he's got that Batman purple. <laughs> Don't do it. Never accept that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like 2.30 in the morning, <laughs> man. Like, what? Come, Nemo. Here, eat this. <laughs> Listen, Nemo. Look, Nemo grew up very sheltered. Gender is a spectrum. It can be lots of things. <laughs> Nemo looks like he's on something. Yeah. Heavy lids, slack jaw. <laughs> well, anyway, Nemo, <laughs> if you're going to be like that, we're moving on. What? Better go get dressed, I guess. Gotta be up for work in three hours anyway. <laughs> uh, I hope that's the new Nemo. Nemo at mm -hmm. like, like 47. No, he's still a child. He just works in a coal mine. <laughs> what? Let's go, I guess. Start it, Brad. Mushroom Forest <laughs> sounds like the thing I saw the pictures uh, of. Yeah, okay. Nice. Wow. Don't talk to this guy. Don't talk Don't, to this guy. No, this guy's this guy got canceled a long time ago. This guy Don't has talk a to this guy behind that tree. <laughs> this, this guy's no good. I'll tell you a secret. <laughs> Creatures will give you a ride if you feel <laughs> candy. Ain't ride for as long as you like. <laughs> good music oh yeah that music i remember being flip. pretty good flip just look at that nemo icon in the bottom there mm -hmm. i don't want to jump on that thing it's a pretty good icon <laughs> nemo's just excited to be here more excited than he was to be Is woken this? up that's oh, for sure boy. Is this just a pretty straight ahead action game, like level based, or is there more to it? Uh, there's more to it. It's not like some Metroid style, like big thing, though, right? I don't. My memory is not that it was, but I, like I don't think there's any branching paths. Get on him! Get on him! Get on him! Oh hell yeah. yeah! Okay, now that's I what see we're what's talking going about. On. Okay, I missed that. But can we talk about the mechanics of this here for a moment? Because uh, you were just feeding that frog candy, and now you are living inside <laughs> of it, wearing it like it's a fucking Edgar suit. Uh huh. Kind of fucked up. It's kind of fucked up. I, gotta, I think there's a setting for that screen boundary drawing in, but I don't remember where it is. You're going to have to uh, dig your way through there, Nemo. Hmm. Uh oh Oh, God. You just burst out of the, they burst out of him. Mm -hmm. I think uh, they redraw. Dead. I think they redraw on screen. If you're looking for that cop-looking guy. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. Oh, you got to wait. Ah, oh, no stick dog. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool mechanic. Yeah, yeah, this is all right. It's, not, it's kind of not dissimilar to that Mickey Mouse game. Sure. If, we, if 
from suits and such. Let me get out again. Hello, dude, I got candy for you. Chill. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, though, Mickey Mouse wasn't living inside the mouth of a sultan. <laughs> oh, can oh. you? Oh, I thought I just assumed you'd be able to swim up that. Some kind of Zelda. Some kind of Zelda like. That was a poor, that was a poor assumption. Anyway, I see what yeah. I see what this game is. Hang on. Can I? Can't oh, there's go. the mask edges. Extra sprites. Uh, is there anything else I can do here? I'm on a weird palette, color palette right now, but anyway. There we go. That looks more normal. Less, less sprite flicker, I think. Yeah. Wehehe. <laughs> All right, hey, Madden. Oh, can you not jump in this guy? Did not expect to come out of today knowing what Little Nemo the Dream Master is. Yes. Just the kind of unpredictability you can expect on Next Lander. That's right. Meow. Ah. Those are the mean frogs. They're oh, flying look at this guy. masters. That guy is just asking for candy. Begging for it. Give me candy. Oh. Ride that lizard. Leave me alone. That's what Barney looked like oh. before he got the surgery. Oh, come on. Oh. Boo. Mm. You'll just never right. know. You'll just never know. I'm calling it. All, All right. right, everybody. That is going to do it for this week's grab bag. We're going to be back tomorrow. Rad Shoemaker is going to be uh, heading off soon out of state, out of home. And we Ooh. asked, what should we do for tomorrow's stream? And Brad, the answer was Remnant 2. More Remnant. It's like, it's like your birthday. It's like, Brad, what do you want for your birthday? Yeah. I want to play Remnant right. 2. Uh, so get we're more gonna, of that shit in before I leave. <laughs> we're going to get in some Remnant 2. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna jump back in. If you missed it on Monday, we're the best at Remnant Two. We defeated the the game's hardest boss uh, together mm -hmm. as a team. We're amazing. Uh, also uh, on the Watchcast, it is the season finale of uh, season. Uh, sorry, season one finale. Let's say yes. of Twin Peaks up now, uh, and then we are transitioning Ooh. over to Lane oh for a bit. That'll be on next week's Watchcast. You can check that out. Uh, we got the uh, Ramblecast up. Uh, if you're over on the Patreon side of things, um, as the month rolled over, uh, some weird things might have happened. If you find yourself not able to access the Patreon, some stuff may have happened with their bank, it sounds like. Uh, so you want to double check if you're losing access to wonderful things like the Ramblecast, Never Been a Better Podcast, Watchcast, all the fun stuff over there. Just double check it out. Over at patreon.com slash nextlander. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Alex. I'll see you later, everybody. Enjoy your Thursday. Bye. Bye.